So I just got out of market. Don't interrupt. That's rude. So I just got out of mocking Jay. <sighs> and Hannah is over. But I figured I'm in a good mood. I'm in happy spirits. I like to film videos while I'm hyper. So might as well knock out a review I was planning on doing today but ended up not doing because I fell asleep. Wow. That video is going to be a review for the book Find Me, I'm Yours by Hilary Carlin. You can't see the cover, can you? No, you can. No, you can't. There we go. I was asked to review this and I immediately accepted because this is a new genre of book, or so they're calling it. Basically, this book is written so that it's an actual chiclet adult novel, but within it, the author has created about 30 websites to go along with it, and along with that, there's pictures and videos. So the author has created this book that has media embedded into it, and it's a very interactive read, and it's very different and that's why I was interested and that's why I finished it in three days. On to my review. Wait, no. First a synopsis. I'm already sweating. I'm seriously gonna go get my fan. Club going up on a Tuesday. This is the best hairstyle I've ever worked. Do this the whole video. <laughs> I have a mustache. Yeah, that totally ruined my hair. Cool. Anyway, Find Me, I'm Yours is, like I said, a adult chiclet book. It's about an artist who lives in LA and she's just living. That's a very vague synopsis. One day she decides to buy a camera and inside the camera bag that she buys is a tape. So she plays it and it's this guy saying, I'm looking for a partner, follow these clues and come meet me. So it's a pretty much not a competition, but it is like a scavenger hunt to find this guy and see what he's all about and she's kind of desperate for a new boyfriend after she breaks up with her old ex for cheating and there's just a lot of drama with her best friend and her and her boy problems and her family. So it really encompasses a lot of issues other than just this man she's on a hunt for. But like I said, every video that she gets, you get to watch and every link that she goes to, you get to go to. And I think it's a really, really neat idea. Oh Welcome gosh. to the video, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> So, my number one deal with this book was the writing. My... Oh, breathe. Oh, I'm mocking Jay Fields. Anyway, my number one deal with this book was that I was not a fan of the writing. And this is something that the other people... I've seen other reviews and other people raved about how it was modern and funny. But it's written like Jennifer L. Armentrout on drugs. And when I mean on drugs, I don't mean like bad. I mean like amplified to the extreme. Let me give you an example because I wrote down an entire list of words. So things like adorbs and supertastic and appreche. It was just abbreviated things that young people would say. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it but I felt like it came off really cheesy and I didn't like the writing. But the deal is, I can see how people would like it. I think it's just me as an English major being like, no one speaks like that. When honestly, I know there are probably some people out there that thought it was funny, that thought it was cool and fast paced, but I was not feeling it. But honestly, the writing isn't totally bad. It reads like a blog almost. Like it's very, you feel like, especially with all the media links embedded, you feel like you're actually reading this person's experiences. So it's a lot more realistic than a typical book would be. But this does hinder it in some parts because whenever she's upset, she'll be like, OMG, and she, it'll literally say OMG with a gazillion excla exclamation points. And that just reads as silly to me and it really makes the entire book seem petty because something horrible will happen and she'll be like, OMG, I am totes angry right now. And as you can imagine, that just reads kind of silly. So. This book was a bit like that for me. I just couldn't legitimize it enough to feel like the events had some sort of meaning behind them because I just felt like I was reading a 10 year old's diary for the entire time. Like I said, I read it very quickly. So it is a very smart way to write it because it's really fast paced. So recently my boyfriend Joel posted a video about how he was reading a book and he wanted to smell the book at the same time. 
and it was just this entire thing about how he wished that books could be more interactive, like you could smell what they're smelling in the book. This book reminded me of that video and I was like, you're kind of having the same experiences as the narrator as the reader is. Does that make sense? So uh, the narrator goes to do something and you go at the same time. It's not just links to websites where she'll give you a link and be like, look, this thing was on it. Then you click the link and it is there. It's like, at a point it got kind of unreal because it gives you a phone number to call and you get to listen to a recording on that phone number. And that was what made it really, really cool to me is whenever I reached that point of the book. I had a small problem with the actual plot of this book because it just seemed kind of absurd to me. Going back to that whole the writing was unrealistic to me, it seemed like she is, first of all, she, the only thing she does throughout the book is talk about how much she wants this boyfriend and how desperate she is. And then she comes across this tape and she's like, boyfriend material. And so she decides to jump into the whole thing. But um, her best friend is like, he could be a rapist, you're gonna die. And that's exactly what I was thinking. So I felt like, I don't know, I just couldn't relate to the main character because I felt like it was just weird to be pursuing this person. And that that's what the entire book's about. Or not the entire book, but that's what the book is written for. So that was a bit unsettling for me. Toward the end, I began to just trust it more. Kind of branching off of that, the main character, Maggie, I just didn't really like her as a main character. She was definitely respectable. I like how funny she was and she had very human reactions to things aside from the OMG. But I just was a tiny bit annoyed with her and not because of any of the decisions she made or anything that she may have said to some person, but it was just the way that she thought because of the writing, she just seemed very immature. Like I was saying, she's so desperate for a boyfriend. It just came off very twilighty. Like at one point, I have this written down. Um, she was talking about the sunset and she was like, the sun was setting, like everything in my life leaves me. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Get a backbone. So there were times in this book where I was just uh, so distraught over this, like, oh my gosh, Maggie. On a Tuesday. It's Sunday. So my last point is Maggie has a roommate named Sherry. And Sherry is a little bit promiscuous, but uh, I know some people have opinions about people who do certain things in the promiscuity world, but... I didn't like how Maggie thought about Sherry, like, oh, so people can have their opinions, even fictional people, but I did feel like we crossed a line with the slut shaming in this book. But there is at least three times where she calls her roommate hashtag horrible with horrible spelled W-H-O-R-E-E-B-L-E. -E -E. So that was just something that I was like, the Tumblr in me came out and was like, free speech, people can do what they want. Yeah, just minor thing that I was like, hey, people are allowed to express themselves however they want. Express yourself. Express yourself. So that about wraps up my review. I gave this book two stars, or more like two and a half stars, because I just could not get over the writing. And that was something that really really brought this book down for me and otherwise I liked it was a very entertaining story I loved the media embedded into it I would totally recommend it just because it's so new and I can see people liking this it might just be me that's like the writing so on that note we're done with this review and my light has not started smoking so hallelujah so that's everything goodbye Do you want?